Toy Story 4 is a bit of a hard movie to review, mainly because of the legacy behind it and the expectations set for this sequel. I, like many others, thought that Toy Story 3 ended really well, and that was just a really good trilogy. But then, of course, we had some shorts and a couple of specials, which were good, but they were just sort of supplementary and not really just, you know, continuing a story. By the way, if you have seen those specials, uh, Toy Story of Terror and the Toy Story that Time Forgot, they're actually referenced in Toy Story 4, which I thought was pretty neat. But not so much so that you actually need to watch those specials to understand it. It's just sort of like a, a neat little reference. I think the main thing to take away from this movie is that this whole series has been sort of Woody's arc. And this is where Woody's arc ends. And I'm not sure if it ends in a way that a lot of people expect, though it, when you watch the movie, you sort of come to that conclusion. One of the strongest aspects of Pixar's movies, and especially the Toy Story series, is their characters, and I love hanging out with those characters. And in this movie, we get to see what a toy's true purpose is, and uh, explain a bit of the existential side of it. Though it shows a lot of parallels between parents and their kids growing up. I'm not sure if that's exactly the message they're going for, but there are a couple of lines that lead me to believe that. The movie's animation itself is gorgeous. It's Pixar. What do you expect? Just when I think they can't get any better, they get better. There are just some incredibly detailed shots. You can see it from the screenshots and the trailers, but the antique shop has some incredible detail in it. I just want to scrub through all the frames and just look at it. There's also some Easter eggs in there that Pixar fans might notice. Also, I gotta say, this is probably one of the funnier films in the Toy Story series. There are a lot of great jokes in it. My audience was laughing at almost all of them, and I was giggling along with them. As far as the emotional impact, though, of some of the scenes, some of them do hit a little hard, but not quite as much as I think Toy Story 3 did. I think the movie is good but I still feel like it was unnecessary. I do want to see it again and see how I'll react after knowing everything that's going to happen because my expectations were very weird with this movie. At first, I had very low expectations because it's a sequel to what I think is a perfect trilogy. But then the critics came out and said it was excellent and my expectations just went a little higher. So I was in this weird middle ground with my expectations and I just didn't know how to react. I think if you're a fan of the Toy Story franchise, you will enjoy it. But if you thought the first three films were just one complete package and that it didn't need any more, you will probably still enjoy it a bit, but will think it's unnecessary, like I do. I don't think it's bad at all. I think other animation studios would do blood sacrifices to have sequels this good back to back. That's not to say that Pixar didn't do one. But like I said, I do want to see it again. This is the last sequel that Pixar will be doing for quite a long time, so we'll have some original films next year. But if you have seen Toy Story 4, tell me down in the comments, and tell me what your favorite Pixar film is. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Like soldiers in the middle of a campaign, growing hardened to discomfort and better